Hi everybody and welcome to the jungle. Today's topic is in the abundance mindset series, how to go from triggered back into an abundance mindset or into having an abundance mindset, pursuing your dreams continually. Then one of the things you have to do is you have to get out of your comfort zone to keep expanding. And when we get out of our comfort zones, one of the things that always happens is we get triggered. In fact, that's what comfort zones are all about. Comfort zones are all about keeping us and protecting us from our triggers. Like, oh my God, here we go. We not only fall off the vine of the jungle, but we're down there struggling and fighting the lions, the bears, the tigers, the snakes, just like what? Many people shut back down and or just get discouraged and give up. So we want to work on like really staying plugged in, staying in the game, showing up for yourself, showing up for your dreams in this. Before video. we get started, though, what I'd like to do is I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers to the jungle. Yay! Glad to have you. Really, really happy to have you. And um, also those of you who land on this video and you've not yet subscribe to the jungle i want to ask you to take this moment and this time to hit the subscribe button below also while you do that you might want to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when i upload new videos into the jungle an abundant mindset would be simply saying that it's like it's like a core value it's like this is an abundant universe. I am a stand that there is no real shortage on this universe, that this lack and scarcity consciousness that causes war and hunger, to give extreme examples on this planet, is human made. Lack and scarcity creeps into your self-worth, your value of yourself, your intelligence. Are you smart enough? Are you valuable enough? Are you resourceful enough? Oh, time is a real big one. Do you have enough time? Focus. Do you have enough focus? Are you smart enough? Okay. Are you resourceful enough? All of these things are where we look when it comes to triggers, especially. So recently I joined a, or an organization. It's a women's organization and it's all business women, entrepreneurs at that mostly entrepreneurs. And uh, these are some really sharp women. These are some really powerful. So women. I get triggered and I'm all of a sudden in this organization, a group of women where I'm just sure they're the smart girls and I'm not, you know? And it was actually very painful. <laughs> it's incredibly painful. And have you ever noticed that when you get triggered that it sets up more triggers to come along? So another thing happened on top of that it was like i was set up for this other thing to happen and like a snowball effect or the domino effect the problem like with getting triggered and really falling off the vines the higher vines in the jungle and really hitting the bottom of the jungle the lack and scarcity of the jungle the survival of the jungle when it's a big one what's happening is your mind is taking over it's your focus your focus has become your attention has become stuck on, fixed on the upset, whatever it is. I meditate and one of the things that I do when I meditate is I'm attuning to my higher self. I'm attuning to source, God, angels, spirit guides, all of the guidance that is there available. And I'm attuning, when I say I'm attuning, I'm what I'm really saying is that I gear myself up to be open to hearing guidance and not necessarily with my ears, but in the messaging system. So like when I get intuitive thoughts and intuitive sort of knowingness that I trust it and I know where it's coming from. So hearing, listening, attuning to listening. And many times when I get triggered, all I have to do is tune in and hear I can hear or feel or experience the truth about a situation and get out of my trigger, grab a higher vine and swing right back up into the higher rooms of the jungle. But this trigger was really took me down 
And so I kept hearing, go to the beach, Kelly, go to the beach. And you know, at first I'm kind of thinking, well, yeah, it's one of those things, you know, when the, when the going gets tough, the tough go to the beach. But no, it kept coming, go to the beach, go to the beach. And so I'm like, okay, well, fine. I clear my calendar. I book a room down at the beach at one of my favorite hotels on the seawall and pack my bags and my car and head to the beach. Check into the hotel, put on my beach clothes, straight down to the beach I go. Go to the beach, Kelly, go to the beach. And I start walking down the beach and pretty soon, I mean, really immediately, I start to shift back into abundance. Like the trigger starts to dissolve and go away. And when I say that, really what that is, is it's a new perspective, a shift in perspective. So, I walk down the beach to Murdoch's, Murdoch's Seashell Shop, Murdoch's Seashell Shop. Uh, it is a seashell shop where I used to take my kids when they were little. It is awesome, and it is huge. I start looking at these seashells, and there's coral, there's starfish, there's sand dollars, and there's so many of them that I'm thinking these have to be manufactured. I mean, after all, we live in a very manufactured world today. Everything can be manufactured and sold cheaper than the real thing, you know? And so I, I'm like, well, Kelly, you put on your readers. <laughs> so I did. I got my readers out of my purse, put on my readers, and started picking up these seashells and sunfish and sand dollars and coral. And I'm like, this is real. There really is this many seashells in this seashell shop. Like, Wow. And not only that, then I started expanding and I started thinking about how many seashell shops there are in the world. And like, this is probably a smaller seashell shop than other places because it, after all, it's just Galveston, it's the Gulf of Mexico. You know, uh, there's got to be seashell shops that are like huge, like three times as many of these ocean artifacts. <laughs> and so I just, actually took that opportunity to put my attention on all the seashells, walk around, touch them, feel them, look at the density of the baskets in which they were, like all of the seashells, this size, this color, this type, this huge basket of them. And yeah, that is one heck of an expansion. So my trip to the beach was well worth. Human attention is your most valuable commodity and what you put your attention on grows. Simply put, and I think most people who tune into this video know that. You've done enough success videos and read enough success books to know that, that what you put your attention on grows. The meditation technique that I'm talking about here, which is basically getting your attention off of the trigger and the upset and putting your attention into something that is aesthetically big, huge, creative. And so we have to really get that there are those states of a expanded abundance mindset where you are really clear that you make a difference, that your life is has a purpose, and that your contribution does matter. And when you get to that place, And for those of us who are taking abundance mindset, abundance consciousness, and creating it as a core value, it's something that we need to be reminded of because there is still a lot of lack and scarcity consciousness on this planet. But the great thing about abundance mindset and abundance consciousness is that it trumps lack and scarcity. Hey, will you please, in the comment section, tell me what are your favorite forms of meditation that are counterintuitive that perhaps people don't really consider them to be meditation. And um, also, if there's anything about this video that spurs you to share one of your successes and or one of your challenges, or if there's anything in this video that you want to learn more about, you would like for me to, deep, to dive deeper into, there is the comment section. So um, scroll down past all the other videos until you hit where all the comments are, where you can put a comment in, 
and let's have a conversation about overcoming triggers and uh, going from expanded to lack and scarcity back into expansion as soon as possible. I hope that this video has been very useful to you, a great contribution to you. Again, thank you to all the new subscribers who've joined the jungle and I'm just thrilled to have all of you. Until next time from in the jungle, as usual, bye for now.